What's going on everyone? Welcome back. I hope everybody's having a great day. Guys, we're going back to a moon video. You're probably saying, why a moon video on Mars Anomalies and beyond? Well, the thing is, every now and then, I have a really important moon video that I want to show you, and it just doesn't get as many views on Lunar Anomalies and beyond. I'm hoping that'll change as people start subbing more and more. So I decided to do it on here for now. So this is another video from Apollo 8. Now, I have done a video on Apollo 8 back in 2019. Let me show you the one I'm talking about. And you can see the title right here, Apollo 8, Structures Found on the Far Side of the Moon, March 24th, 2019. Now you can see the structures right here. I'll go ahead and make this a little bigger there. You can see the three of these so-called craters, but they're not craters. Now, I believe it was on the 3rd, so it was about four days ago, Alien Hunter had a premiere video of a video that you can find here. Now this is on the LROC. And you can see first to see the far side. You go all the way down, just scroll down. And there's a video right here. Now, you could see this right here. Check this out, guys. On the right-hand side, you got the same one I just showed you in the video I did in 2019. These three craters, are they actually craters? I don't think so. At the end of this video, we can show you that right now. And you can see right here, LROC releases images and other data products on their website. And you can also see right here, it says, to find the products used in this animation, search for, and of course, it's got whatever here. They say animation. So does that make it real? Does it make it fake? Okay. If they were to say it's an animation, meaning it's not real, they're full of it. This is the real deal. Now, when you jump over to Alien Hunters, right here, again, he's done it. And it says, wish we were there. Okay. And again, you can see these craters in the right-hand side in the background, right? And again, there you are. There's that same thing in the background as the ones I showed you in the video that I've done. Now, the first thing that came to mind is why isn't there any darker detail in here? What is going on here? Why is everything so like whited out and there's really no details? Is it possible this is radar or LIDAR? Now, what I found from NASA itself is that they didn't start using LIDAR until 1972, sort of later missions, right? So what's going on? Well, there's a whole lot of censoring going on, folks, and I'm about to show you this right now. Now, because this is very low res and it's been tampered with big time, it's really hard to extract these things. But again, here we are right here. Notice this thing almost has a wall to it. This one here is we're just about on top of it, so it kind of looks like it's just a crater and nothing more. But we also have these other weird things here. Okay. Are those actually in the photo, though? I don't know. Let's have a look. Notice you can see the middle crater right there. You can see something on each side of this right here to the left. And at the 3 o'clock position right here, you've got some other weird stuff going on here, right? Let's get into this. All right, here's a photo right here. Now, what I've done was basically a screen grab of that said video. Now, folks, you know they had better cameras than this. Look at this. It's an absolute piece of trash. But one thing I want you to notice. There is blurring going on, and I'm going to just point this out real quickly. There's a couple of objects standing up right here. One, two. Notice this vertical blur. Why would there be vertical blur in a photo? Unless you're trying to hide something, right? So what we're going to concentrate is right here, all of this area here, and a lot of other small things like here. Now, this is before we do anything to this photo. Now, I do make this much darker for a reason. I want to not only bring out the darker areas that are supposed to be in the photo, but I also want to bring down the brightness too. So we do go into this quite a bit. Now, we're not going to take too long on this. So I'm just going to jump to these certain parts and you can see that these things have height to them. Now, let's just, just look at this one right here. Look at this, guys. Look at the size of this thing. It has height to it. There's something right here. It looks like it's doing this. And we have that other item. Almost looks like it does this, goes around. Okay. Piece going across and some other pieces in the back. Okay. Look at this one here. We have it here. But down here, it appears to have a wall. Okay. And it looks like it has an opening. There's a wall right here. And there's some things right here on the side of this we're going to have a better look at. Take these off. Notice there is some height to it. And it looks like a wall, not like an ejector. 
on the outside of a crater, but it looks like an actual wall, right? And again, we have some weird pieces here and something that's standing up here. This thing definitely has some, some height to it, right? There's something on this side. You got the crater. It looks like the crater wall is doing this again. Looks like this is coming around. But again, we got this blur right here. I'm not sure what to make of that right here. Going like this and coming back down. But once you enhance this, there's actually two things standing right there. Okay. What's really interesting is the large structural complex. I'm not sure what to make of this. But we do bring a lot of this white piece out. Now, there's something doing this. Almost looks like a weird fan type thing, but it's doing this. It's got like these weird teeth in it like this, going like this. And then we have the rest of it going like this. And this white piece, and you're going to see this a little better. Of course, we're, again, we're fighting with blurring, spot blurring. I mean, literally, you can see them doing this. I mean, they're literally going over anything they can find to block out, right? And by the way, folks, make sure you get out your magnifiers because I can't zoom in too far. It's bad enough the photo's actual crap. So if we really zoom in, forget about it. It's just, it completely distorts. So let's jump into this real quick, shall we? I'm going to jump into this one right here, and we're going to have a look. Let's zoom into these pieces right here. What they've done is they put a lot of gray over these, but look at, like I said, there's like this weird looking hook thing going up like this. There's something going like this. You can just see the outline to it. And look at these pieces. What is going on here? It's like this thing's a full blown city with walls and just crazy stuff. Okay. This, like I said, has something overhanging like this here. But it looks like it has this opening to it. And then we've got the walls to it, right? Something here. And I tried different ways to get this stuff out for you guys. Uh, I'm going to go into the black plate so you guys can see this a little bit better. Again, this item in the back here. Notice this piece right here. Doing this. And I'm going to zoom out in a minute so you guys can actually have a look at this. And I'm just going to have you pause it. But there's stuff all in here, guys. Everywhere you look, there's something in here. You can see structures like here. Look at this section right here. We have one, two. What you want to do is keep a close eye on this. Look at the way these things are doing this. Going right across. This item right here on what looks like a ledge type thing. All of these little spots are actually objects. And what looks like almost like roadways and stuff like this here. But there's a huge complex of whatever this is. And it's on the far side. This is the reason why anybody with a telescope is not going to see this. Now, let me back out of this, get rid of these lines. Let me just back out. Get rid of this real quick. Okay, folks, pause it right here. Have a really good look with a magnifier and check this out. This is awesome. Just look at the littlest details and the smallest things you can find, and you're going to find some crazy stuff in this photo. Let's move on. So right here, we sharpened it up a little bit and made it a little bit darker. Go ahead and pause it right here. Have a look around. So now we use two color filters. Check it out. Pause it. Okay. Let's get into black plate, shall we? Now, if we were to dismiss everything in this photo except for the stuff on the right-hand side, just looking at these alone. These things actually have height to them. Check that out. This thing comes all the way out to here from this area here. And again, it looks like we got something doing this. Okay, looks like it's doing this. Come down. And you can see what looks like white parts, and then all of a sudden it's gray. White parts, and it's gray. White parts, and it's gray. Why? They're taking this stuff out. Let me just back up a little bit. This is a little bit more enhanced. Now, folks, check this stuff out. Well, it looks like something in this crater here. Again, we got two little things sitting here. This, what looks like this wall, and it looks like it's completely straight up and down, guys. It doesn't look like an ejector, like on the outside of a depression, meaning a crater, right? It looks like an actual wall. Again, this piece here. And again, I could have advanced that same video so that these were down here. But I wanted to get it from 
a perspective in the back so we can see some height to it and not so much the top of it, right? Over here. Again, this weird, looks like fan type thing. You can see this white piece doing this. Something right there going like this. And it's over the top of this crater. Now, let's back up. Now, this is a lot of brightened up areas, but you can see a little bit more of this. Pause it right here. Have a look. I'm going to bring this up a little bit more right there. And again, pay attention to the smaller things down in the lower right corner. This is what you want to see. A lot of other pieces look like squares and things on the ground, L-shaped structures or whatever these things may be. Look how there's like little roadways right here. Look at the little pieces on the ground right there. Let me, in fact, let me zoom into that a little bit. Look at these objects next to this so-called crater right here. Okay. Look at all these little bits and pieces down here. These little white squares right there. There's two of them here. One looks like some other weird piece. You got another part of the ground. On the left hand side, we got this piece here. There's so much in here to see, guys. You just have to look. Again, these parts all right here. Okay. It's one thing to see something round and you say, well, that's probably the crater. And you just, it's the light and dark areas that's fooling with you. But when you see a flat square or rectangular piece with something on it, that's not a crater. That's just not a crater, period. Okay. Let me just back out of this. Again, you guys can check that out. Pause it right here. Have a look at the background, the biggest pieces I've showed you, and have a better look, right? Okay. So now we're going to docking this thing up. Again, pause it where you like. There's so much in here to see, especially this area here. Okay. Let's zoom in. Now, I tried to sharpen it a little bit. This is the reason why you can see that weird fuzziness going on. These things right here, guys. See how it's got that weird white? Now, that's not a crater. It's literally something they paint over the top so that you cannot see what's underneath. So put something really, really white and then bring up the exposure. These areas get extremely white and it looks like a crater. They're not craters. There's something much more to these things. Okay. Now let's slide over to the left. Look at these things in here, folks. I'm going to back out a little bit so you can see this much better. Look at the area here now. All of this stuff in here. Just take the time to look this stuff over. What's in here is absolutely amazing if you bring the detail back. Instead of this super bright, ex overexposed, no detail photo, you can bring it out. It is absolutely there. Now let's go back to the original and then just bring out these bigger pieces that I showed you before here and all of these here. Okay. Check that out. Again, height. Yeah. These are not craters if they're coming off the ground. That just doesn't make sense. And there you go. Check this out. Again, bits and pieces are on this particular one. You can see there's a, like a wall. Something's inside there. I'm not sure what to make of that. Something's in this crater. It almost looks like it's a square top to it. You see that? Almost this weird shape right there. Just really, really weird. Something on top of this, like this looks like structures or something on top. These here to the left of this other crater. And again, I, I say this is no crater at all. You can see that opening right there. And of course, we've got this other one where I try to bring out any more white pieces that are already there and try to bring this out. To the left, we can jump over to here. Check this thing out. And again, we have what looks like these two pieces that were blocked by blur. And whatever this is, I don't know if it's an industrial complex, whatever this stuff is, guys. Look at this. All right here. Is this here a crater? No. Again, has walls. And what they did was they just kind of go over it with this, like, light paint. So when you bring up the exposure, everything looks super bright. But look at the objects in here. All on the top here. 
and then we can go back down here. Look at these pieces like right down here, this piece. Pieces in these weird shapes, like they're like in a row. Folks, there's a lot to see in here. A lot to see. And bring this back. It's only this side that we had done. So I'm just going to move this in just a hair bit more. Right there, folks. Pause it. Have a look at it. And there you are. Folks, I don't know about you, but I'm seeing a giant complex. I'm seeing huge structures here. Again, I did that one in 2019. You can also check that out. I'll drop the link in that as well. You can have a look at that. Again, we're almost on top of those structures. This time I waited until it was way in the background. Why? Not to fool you so you can't see detail. I wanted to see how high this stuff actually was. If you're on top of it, you can't see the height. If it's a distance away, you can see that. So I wanted to do it to maybe try to confirm what we've seen in the 2019 one. And like I said, I was happy that Alien Hunter had done that premiere on that because it, it, it kind of sparked me back up to do this video. So I gave him a big thank you on there. And you can go over to his uh, video. And in fact, I'll give you the link if you want to check it out. And I told him inadvertently, you actually brought out what looked like structures all over this photo. So I, I thanked him and thanked him for doing a great job. Again, folks, I'm seeing structures. Tons of them. And they're on the far side. This is the reason why people go, I don't see those things. I got a telescope. You're not going to see it. One, the moon's tidal lock. Two, it's on the far or the other side of the moon. So you won't see it. I want to know what you folks see and what you think. What are we seeing in here? Drop your comments down below. Let me know what you think. Please like and share. It is always appreciated. You guys know that. And don't forget to give the video a thumbs up so that YouTube will share it. And if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And don't forget to hit the notification bell on the right hand side so you'll be notified of any new video that comes out. And don't forget when you hit that notification bell, there's a little drop down box. It's the box that says all. So again, you'll be notified of any new videos. Anyway, folks, thanks for watching. Always appreciated. And we'll see you in the next one. Peace, guys.